One of the things I've noticed about being dyslexic is that I can get disorganized. And so what I've learned is a trick to help me as a dyslexic business owner get organized. And one of those tricks is leveraging my desire to get the big picture. Like, as a dyslexic, I've got this hunger to constantly keep the big picture, see the big picture, find the patterns, etc. And so I've got a really messy folder and it's been driving me nuts. So here's the trick. The trick is to say, we're gonna get the big picture. And I kind of speak to myself, I say, let's take some time. We'll take a proper hour just to go through the folder, organize it and get the big picture with it all. And so what I do is I feel, yeah, I wanna get the big picture, let's do that. Let's stop and get the big picture. So what I find is that I love doing big tidy ups, but I don't like being really neat very much. I like it, but I don't really do it. Um, but I'm great at big tidy ups. And I wonder if that is an aspect of my dyslexia. I, I love getting the big pattern, sorting everything out, organizing it all in one go. But the ongoing, practical, habitual side of things I find difficult. So I try and combine them both together at once. So I'm doing a big tidy up of my folder here and at the same time, bringing it down to the detail. So I go from the big picture down to the detail to make it practical. And that's one of the tricks. You know, I realize my weakness is forgetting about the detail, not putting the detail into the context of the big picture, and that my hunger is for the big picture and constantly seeing the big picture. So I'm trying to combine them both in this one exercise of going through my folder, organizing everything and while I do it honing and focusing down to what I really need to do next. So what I've done is organize them into sort of different sections like my dividers in my folder. So what's emerged is the business plan section. These are the key components of the business plan, key performance indicators, goals, the name, business software systems. And then these are the weekly reviews that I've done. And this is the Mind Map for Beginners course. That are, that's the column for the website. And these are the resources for my Mind Map for exams which is going to go into development in the next month. And this is my future email marketing campaign. And those are my how to make a video checklist and plans. And these are my dyslexia resources and keyword research. So that's it pretty much in a nutshell at the moment. I'm gonna put them back in the folder. That's how I trick myself into being neat. That's my whole business in a bag. Recording studio, light box, everything in there. Now it's time for you to take your folder, take one subject, lay it all out in front of you and lay it in clockwise order. So it's like a mind map. Start at the top 12 o'clock and lay it all out in a big circle and it comes to a finish. So you can just see it all in one go. And then take a note, lay it out, lay it out, neaten it up and then put it all back into your folder nice and neat. And you've got everything ordered, ready for you to revise. While you're at it, why don't you do what I've done and go through your bag, empty out your bag, just everything out of your bag, sort it all out, clean it out, put things in the right place and just repack your bag. It does something for your inside. It, it, inside your mind, inside your heart and your feelings to have your notes organized and your bag organized. So take some time right now and do it before you watch the next video.